Okay, in this lesson we're going to create an ASP.NET MVC program and we're going to publish it up to uh, Microsoft Azure after we've completed our program. We'll make a simple change to the program and then we'll also uh, um, publish that change up to Azure as well so you can get a little bit of a feel for what it takes to push something up there and I think you'll find it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward. So, um, so I'll go ahead and start up Visual Studio <clears throat> and once Visual Studio comes up I'll go ahead and select to create a web project and then after selecting a web project I'll, I'll tell it to go ahead and uh, scaffold out a uh, ASP.NET MVC program. So Visual Studio is now started up so let me uh, make the window just a little bit bigger here and uh, I'll select File, New, Project and um, <clears throat> After you do this, a, a kind of a palette of projects comes up. So I'll select uh, that I want to uh, do a, a ASP.NET web application. And I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this project to Hello a Azure. And I'm going to make this number three because I've actually created this project several times. So. I'll go ahead and let that uh, create and so now the secondary dialog comes up and I'm going to select that it's an MVC project. In addition, I'm going to change the authentication to have no authentication. It'll make it a little bit simpler for this example, otherwise I'd have to publish the authentication uh, along with the website. So now it's uh, creating the, the, uh, the project and you can look at the bottom uh, left hand corner down here and you'll see the tasks that it's going through so it's creating kind of the uh, the blank project the forms the controllers and uh, and all the associated pieces so um, it takes it just a minute here I can see right now that it's adding the jQuery support so you get quite a bit um, out of the box when you create a blank uh, MVC project it really does create quite a bit of code for you so looks like it's finishing up here and once this comes up, I'll go ahead and run it on the local machine. We'll see what that looks like. And then um, we'll go ahead and make a small change and then publish that up to Azure. So um, if you look in the Solution Explorer out here, I'll make this just a little bit bigger in this window. And you can see all the pieces that it's created for us. And um, I'll go ahead and, and start this without the debugger just to bring it up um, in the local web browser. It'll take just a second for it. You can see that the build is succeeded down in the lower left hand corner and now it's uh, launching the built-in uh, um, uh, web server that comes along with Visual Studio Express. So it's coming up on port 59895 here locally and now it's, it's come up and I'll just click through here to show you the different tabs of the blank ASP project that's come up. So I'll make a simple change to this. Um, I'll go into the home home uh, under home folder underneath views, and I'll bring up the index piece, and we'll scroll on down here, and we see ASP.NET here in the header, and I'm going to change this right now to Hello Azure. I'll go ahead and build this. The build succeeded, so now I'll go ahead and once again and start this without the help of the debugger. And I can see now that the title is, is changed to Hello Azure. So, so we're good to go with that simple change. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and uh, publish this out to Azure. So if I look if I select on the, the project and highlight the project and right mouse click on here, I'm going to see a publish um, selection. So I'll go ahead and select publish. And the first one on here is to select it as a Microsoft Azure web app. So I'll select that. And it wants me to um, use my Microsoft account for my Azure piece. Uh, I've already authenticated to this and it'll ask me if I want to use an existing web app or create a new one. 
So in this case, if you haven't authenticated to Azure before, it will prompt you and you can um, add your credentials and it'll automatically connect to the uh, Azure cloud system. So in this case, I'm going to select new and I'm going to create a new Azure web app and I'm going to call it Hello Azure. Actually, I'm going to call it Frick Dev Hello. And you'll notice that it's going to put this in this name in front of .azurewebsites.net and this little green check mark tells me that, that that name is okay, that it hasn't already been used. So this, in this configuration of Azure, you're using a default um, set of DNS names. In this case, it, it'll use uh, .azurewebsites.net. So uh, if I look at an app service plan, I'm going to go ahead and use the default uh, service plan that I have in place. It's going to publish that into a resource group that already exists in a region called uh, uh, West US. So all of these things uh, already exist. There's no database server to do this, so I'm going to go ahead and click Create. And it's now creating my, my web app, Frick Dev Hello. So it takes just a few seconds to do that. And once the, uh, the uh, web app is created, then we'll go ahead and publish the code up. Uh, it, it will go ahead and transform, transform the code and automatically launch the web browser. And, and I'll show you what that looks like in just a second. So, um, okay, it's, it's gone ahead and created my site. And now I'm at the connection. And I'm just going to go ahead and select publish down here. And it's now, if you look at the output, it's showing the, uh, the different steps that it's going through. And it's now starting to publish um, uh, my web application out to, the, to Azure. Okay, it's finished um, copying all the files. And now it's bringing up our program. It's uh, launched the web browser and automatically pointed uh, um, to the URL of the published site. So it's just loading it. And we can now see that um, if we look at the web browser, it has published our site, it's picked up our change, and uh, it's, it can be accessed really anywhere on the internet using this URL. So um, you can see what a powerful concept this is, that you can take a, a, a piece of code and publish it in just a couple of minutes uh, and have a live website going. So really, really some cool stuff. So one of the really neat things is, um, I'll make a simple change to this is that once you've published it out there I'll go ahead and build this again and now I'll republish this again and now since it's already been out there it's just gonna publish the the pieces that change so it's an, an even faster process the second time around so I just put out my simple change I've published it it only uh, found the one uh, DLL and now you can see I've made a simple change and pushed it in just a few seconds so if you're only going to touch a little bit of code uh, the publishing uh, piece is smart enough to know that it's only the, the the pieces that change that it needed to publish so so there we have it um, our first lesson uh, in just a few minutes we've created a simple website and published it out to the internet and made a simple change to it so some really powerful stuff in some of the other lessons, I'll show you uh, a little bit more detailed on how to push a database along with this as well. So, but thanks for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.